So the benefits of this term niche, uh, number one, I just heard you say in recap, you're not signing any personal guarantees. You're not signing for debt, uh, which obviously reduces your risk greatly. Um, so when you're in this term niche, you're buying creatively. Let's dig down a little bit. You mentioned a lease purchase. You mentioned seller financing. You mentioned subject to, I'd like to drill down uh, for the person listening to us. Um, exactly what do you mean by control, uh, controlling a property lease purchase? Are you buying it on lease purchase? Are you selling it on lease purchase? What do you mean by lease purchase? Okay, good. So in all states, except for Texas right now, uh, you'd re we refer this as a sandwich lease. So we're going to tie the property up with the seller via a lease purchase. We're then going to file a notice of options so that we're on title and we're protected most importantly. So they can't sell that property off to uncle Joe or something happens to it. We then turn around and do a rent to own with our buyers. But here's a huge distinction, Jay, I want to point out because I I've been on shows and I've listened to shows where mentors talk about this. Our buyer program, is extremely strenuous where we have about a two to five COVID maybe pushed up to seven, but it wasn't bad percent default rate because in this case, my son, Nick, um, has a bunch of steps. He brings them through to pre-qualify them and to make sure they're truly buyers, not renters that want to have to have a dream to maybe someday own and their credit's been messed up for 30 years, but truly buyers who truly need time. And you're talking about the, you're talking about the exit strategy. Yeah. So we tie it up on a, on a lease purchase and we exit on a rent to own. Now there's plenty of advance where we'll give them incentive and maybe change that lease to a longer term vehicle for us and then own or finance them. But that's a, probably a different conversation. So that's lease purchase. Um, is your desire, uh, is your business model to actually help them or see them through getting their own financing or are you happy with them um, working on that, so to speak, on their own? Good question. So we point them and suggest to them where they should go for financing. We don't do it, but there's two things there, two buts. One is we make sure that part of their agreement is they've got to fulfill their mortgage ready steps, we call it. And if they get off track at any point, it defaults their purchase option in which case they would just be a tenant. And again, we're about two to 7%. Um, it'll come back to the two to five, I think post COVID here. And then um, if they, if we end up turning our deal, our side of the deal into a longer term deal, i.e. change the lease to a sub two eventually, we'll give them a carrot, the buyer, a carrot. And we'll say, hey, if you get your deposit up to 20% over time, take your time. And if you never miss a payment, we, we you'll never see a bank if you don't wanna, we'll wanna finance you. So. There's all kinds of different ways to pivot, but that's the base model.